U.S. Air Force bombers conduct sorties over South China Sea. U.S. Indo-Pacific Command has confirmed that two Air Force bombers have conducted a 32-hour round-trip sortie over the South China Sea. The operation included two U.S. Air Force B-1B Lancers from the 28th Bomb Wing, Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota. In a statement, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command said, this operation demonstrates the U.S. Air Force's dynamic force employment model in line with the national defense strategy's objectives of strategic predictability with persistent bomber presence, assuring allies and partners. The latest sortie follows a similar operation conducted a week ago when a B-1 participated with six U.S. Air Force F-16s and 15 Japan Air Self-Defense Force F-15s for CONUS-based bomber bilateral training near Japan. Since 2014, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command and U.S. Strategic Command has conducted several Bomber Task Force missions, previously called Bomber Assurance and Deterrence Missions, to demonstrate U.S. commitment to collective security. The first mission included B-52H Stratofortresses and B-2 Spirit aircraft traveling from the continental U.S. to Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam in April 2014. China has claimed sovereignty over much of the South China Sea, an assertion disputed by other nations with competing claims, such as Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia and Brunei. During the past week, Navy warships operated near the Spratly and Paracel Islands, two of the archipelagos China has claimed most vehemently. The guided missile cruiser USS Bunker Hill sailed near the Spratleys on Wednesday as part of its so-called Freedom of Navigation operations. They are intended to challenge assertions by China and other claimant nations that military passing near the islands must first receive authorization. The US contends that international law allows for direct passage through the contested archipelagos. On Tuesday, the guided missile destroyer USS Barry sailed near the Paracel Islands. The Air Force sortie on Thursday follows a similar B-1 bomber round trip April 22 from Ellsworth to Japan, where a B-1B Lancer joined 15 Japanese fighters for training near Misawa Air Base. An internal Chinese report warns that Beijing faces a rising wave of hostility in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak that could tip relations with the United States into a confrontation, people familiar with the paper told Reuters news agency. The report, presented early last month by the Ministry of State Security to top Beijing leaders including President Xi Jinping, concluded that global anti-China sentiment is at its highest since the 1989 Tiananmen Square crackdown, the sources said. As a result, Beijing faces a wave of anti-China sentiment led by the United States in the aftermath of the pandemic and needs to be prepared in a worst-case scenario for an armed confrontation between the two global powers, according to people familiar with the report's content, who declined to be identified given the sensitivity of the matter. The report was drawn up by the China Institutes of Contemporary International Relations, a think tank affiliated with the Ministry of State Security, China's top intelligence body. Reuters has not seen the briefing paper, but it was described by people who had direct knowledge of its findings. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson office said in a statement responding to questions from Reuters on the report that he doesn't have relevant information. China's Ministry of State Security has no public contact details and could not be reached for comment.
China Institutes of Contemporary International Relations, an influential think tank that until 1980 was within the Ministry of State Security and advises the Chinese government on foreign and security policy, did not reply to a request for comment.